to thank you for joining me this evening for these prayers of peace and healing for this world. I'm inviting you to participate by speaking the liturgy, singing along, praying prayers. Our country is caught in a cycle of violence and unrest, often for very good reasons, things that we need to certainly be reflective of. However, we Christians are called to be representatives, ambassadors of Jesus Christ, of his peace, his mercy, and his love. And so I'm asking you, my brothers and sisters, to be the salt, to be the light of this world, to be preservatives in the midst of these difficult times. And so we Christians, while we may have very strong opinions, we are called to represent Jesus Christ in a very different way. So I'm asking the world to be able to tell that there's a difference, that you're just not a right-wing or left-wing Christian, that you are a person of love, God's holy representative. Let's pray for our country. Let's pray for our world tonight. And let's pray for God's peace. I apologize. I am unable to have an assistant with me tonight, so I will do the best job I can to make sure that you see the screens that you need to to participate in the liturgy and in the songs, but understand this, I, I'm not that great at multitasking. I cannot afford the screens while I'm playing and singing the music, so I will put on the first screen for the music, but I just ask you to pray along with me if you cannot sing along since you will not be able to see all of the words. But let's begin with a great foundation for our service tonight, foundation of Jesus Christ, and may he be our vision. Mm -hmm. God, you who knows my innermost hearts, we come before you this day with knowledge that we have not followed the path of love and justice. We have not treated our neighbors with respect, and we've tried to take from them their dignity. You speak to us through the prophets who exhort us to follow the paths of righteousness. They command us to action in response to the needs of the poor and the dispossessed. You speak to us through Jesus, the Word made flesh, who teaches us that the greatest commandment is to love you with our whole heart and our neighbors as ourselves. We regret that we have not listened to your word and we have not followed your example. We confess our fear, hatred, apathy, and indifference. Give us strength to overcome our fears, courage to act for what we know to be right, strength of will and of purpose, and love to overcome our hatred. 
Help us to see the beauty of our sisters and brothers regardless of race, color. Cleanse our hearts that we might know your truth and we might live it. Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his compassion? I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And you did forgive the guilt of my sin. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that he has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord. All your saints shall bless you. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He fulfills the desires of all who fear him. He also hears their cry and saves them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord. Let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Amen. I invite you not to be afraid this day, my brothers and sisters. Fear is not of God. It does not mean that bad things cannot happen to us. But it does mean that whether we live or whether we die, it is all to the Lord. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Blessed are you, 
O Lord, our God, creator of the universe. For in your wisdom you have formed us. You feed the hungry and you clothe the naked. We will bless you and praise your name forever. You set free those who are bound. We will bless you and praise your name forever. You raise up those whose courage falters. We will bless you and praise your name forever. You provide for our every need. We will bless you and praise your name forever. You have called us from all peoples. We will bless you and praise your name forever. You bless your people with peace. We will bless you and praise your loving grace. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, creator of the universe. For in your wisdom you have formed us. Our first lesson for this season of peace and prayers and healing. Isaiah chapter 45. The prophet writes, Thus says the Lord to his anointed one Cyrus, whose right hand I have grasped to subdue the nations before him, to strip kings of their robes, to open up doors before him, and the gates shall not be closed. I will go before you and I will level the mountains. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and riches hidden in secret places so that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who called you by name. For the sake of my servant Jacob, in Israel my chosen one, I call you by your name. I surname you, though you do not know me. I am the Lord. There is no other God beside me. There is no God. So I arm you, though you do not know me, so that you may know from the rising of the sun and from the west there is no one beside me, for I am the Lord. There is no other. I form light. I create darkness. I make wheel and create woe. I, the Lord, do these things. Shower, O heavens, from above, and let the skies rain down righteousness. Let the earth open that salvation may spring up, and let it cause righteousness to sprout up also. For I, the Lord, have created it.
together, Lord, bind us together, bind us together with love. Our second lesson is from the book of John, the 17th chapter. Jesus had spoken these words, and he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour's come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all peoples to have give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is the eternal life, that, you may know, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave to me. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world even existed. I've made your name known to those whom you've given to me from the very beginning of the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given to me is from you. For the words that you gave me, I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. I'm asking on their behalf. I'm asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they're yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I've been glorified in them. And now I'm no longer in this world, but they are in the world. I'm coming to you, Holy Father. Protect them in your name, the one that you've given me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them in your name that you have given me. I guarded them, and not one of them was lost except the one destined to be lost, so that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I'm coming to you, and I speak these things in the world so that they may have joy, and their joy may be made complete. I've given them your word, and the world has hated them because they do not believe, belong to this world, just as I do not belong to this world. I'm not asking you to take them out of this world. I'm asking you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to this world, just as I do not belong to this world. So sanctify them in your truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in the truth. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of all who would come to believe in this world, that they may be one. As you, Father, are in me, and I am in you, May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given to them, so that they may be one, as we are one. I and them, and you and me, that they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them, even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that the, those also whom you have given me may be with me, that where I am, to see them by glory, which you have given me because you love me before the foundation of the very world. Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and these know that, that you have sent me. I made your name known to them, and I will make it known, so the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. Gospel of our Lord. Father, we do pray for your holy church that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for our pastors of East Pittsburgh, Bishop Brown, Father Fester, Reverend Williams, Reverend Singer, all the pastors and leaders of our congregations and our community, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for East Pittsburgh congregations and our ministries, for Holy Trinity Lutheran Church, for Manna from on High Ministries, New Day Ministries, St. John the Baptist Orthodox, for our lay people, that they might discern the will of God in their lives that they might be faithful ministers of the gospel of peace. 
to our missionaries in this country and throughout the world, that they might come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Give to you the departed loved ones from this congregation your eternal rest. May your light perpetual shine upon them, Lord. We praise you for all those saints who have entered into you. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Amen. Hear the word from the Gospel of John, the third chapter. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Oh, please do not stop reading this lesson here, ever. Listen to this next verse. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. Now, this is the judgment that the light has come into the world and people love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. All who do, for all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light so their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. Here ends the lesson. Let's pray. We beg you, Lord, to def help and defend us. Deliver the oppressed. Amen. Pity the insignificant. Amen. Raise the fallen. Amen. Show yourself to the needy. Amen. Heal the sick. Amen. Bring back those of your people who have gone astray. Amen. Feed the hungry. 
Amen. Lift up the weak. Amen. Take off the prisoner's chains. Amen. Bless those who are overwhelmed by the storms of life. May your healing fall upon this world that we might be healed of COVID-19. Protect those who struggle economically, those who have emotional losses due to these months of isolation. We ask you bless all those who work in the medical field. Keep them safe. Guide them with your Holy Spirit. Use us, Lord, to shoulder their burdens so that they may not be overwhelmed. Amen. May every nation come to know you, that you alone are God, that Jesus Christ is Lord, that we are your people, the sheep of your pasture. Amen. Romans, the 13th chapter. St. Paul writes, Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those authorities that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists authority resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. Rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Do you wish to have... Do you wish to have no fear of the authority? Then do what is good. You will receive its approval. For it is God's servant for your good. But if you do what is wrong, you should be afraid. For the authority does not bear the sword in vain. It is the servant of God to execute wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore, one must be subject not only because of wrath, but also because of conscience. For the same reason, you also pay taxes. For the authorities are God's servants busy with these very things. So pay to all what is due them, taxes to whom taxes are due, revenue to whom revenue is due, respect to whom respect is due, honor to whom honor is due. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. Here ends the lesson. Those are difficult words, especially for many who feel like their rights have been trampled on. We are blessed to live in a country where it is our right to protest and to seek a better way. But that better way on our behalf must be a way of peace and love. 
Let us pray. God, we do pray for all who govern and all who hold authority in the nations of this world that there may be justice and peace. For our presidential candidates, for our congressmen and women, for Governor Tom Wolf, for the mayor of East Pittsburgh, Lou Payne, for all who've been elected to office, for our East Pittsburgh Economic Development Corporation, all who work for the betterment of this community and for their president, Mary Carol Kennedy. Give them your wisdom, O oh Lord. For your justice to roll down like water, that your people might be saved. For all of our officers who serve our community for their safety, that they may be messengers of peace. For all of those who work on our behalf to keep us safe, our firemen and women, our emergency medical workers, our public safety workers, that they may be protected from all harm. For all those who protect our country from harm, we especially remember our men and women who serve faithfully in the armed services of this country. We pray for that day when all weapons will be made into plowshares, shears, when their duty to country is complete so that they might return to their families in peace. Amen. Hear the gospel lesson from the book of Matthew, the 28th chapter. Jesus came and said to his disciples, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, 
I'm with you always to the end of the age, ages. Let's pray. You created us in love, O oh God. Help us to see that the love, that love in your creation. You showed us what love was when you gave your son. Help us to know the extent of that love. You told us what love was like. Help us to understand what you say. You said we should live in love. Help us to move and act in that love. Love is giving and caring. It is doing and understanding. Love is tender and forgiving. It is not empty words or false smiles. God, how can we stand beneath the cross and say that we will not love? How can we stand beside an empty tomb and say that we will not live your way? How can we confess faith in you and say that we will not try? God, we thank you that you feel and understand that you love us through your life and cross, that you know pain and weeping, you know our cries, and through your boundless grace we have hope. Help us to carry the same love within our lives to everyone, everywhere, in everything that we do, always. Amen. that I speak tonight or sing, at least for this first part. In every country, in every country, in every nation, in every nation, from many tribes, from many tribes.
someone's blessing. Someone is blessing. Someone's worshiping. Someone is worshiping. Weeping. Blessing. Worship. Someone is weeping. Someone is blessing. Someone is worshiping. bless you this day. The Lord keep you. The Lord shine his face upon you. May God shine his light not only upon this country, but upon this world and bring God's healing and peace. May you be a vessel of God's peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me this evening. I hope this sets you up in the spirit of prayer that we as Christians must have in these weeks and months to come. The world has made its will made clear to us through its violence, through its destruction, it is time for the church to stand up and say enough. We represent God's peace and love.